Breaking news now out of Edmonton. Convicted killer Travis Vader has been sentenced to life in prison. Vader is the Alberta man found guilty of manslaughter in the deaths of missing seniors Lyle and Marie McCann. They disappeared in 2010 while heading out on a holiday in British Columbia. Vader was tried for first-degree murder, but because of a judicial error, was convicted of manslaughter. CTV's Bill Fortier is outside the Edmonton courthouse and joins me now. Bill, tell us about the reaction inside that courtroom when the verdict was read, when the sentence was read. Well, Bev, there was actually uh, gasps out loud in the courtroom when it happened, uh, gasps of happiness. And, of course, um, this was a, a unique case in that the McCann family, uh, the uh, son of Lyle and Marie McCann and his family, uh, although they're in Melbourne, Australia, they were able to actually be in the courtroom via a video link. So they were actually uh, on a screen watching uh, the sentencing come down. And we did get to talk to them after. Uh, they tell us this is uh, a huge relief for their family. They're very happy with that life sentence. Uh, in this case, no chance of parole for uh, seven years. They tell us this is, you know, they, they don't have closure and they won't until the bodies of their parents are found. This is a unique case and that the bodies were never found, have never been found. But they say this is uh, closure to one chapter and a very big chapter for them. Uh, certainly it will help them move on. And Travis Vader was given an opportunity to say something in court prior to that, right? I think he surprised a lot of people. Um, typically, people don't speak at their sentencing hearings, uh, uh, the accused. And in this case, he did. Um, he spoke and said that uh, he claimed that the court made a mistake, that the, the court convicted an innocent man. He went on to say that he will continue to fight uh, until his name is cleared. Um, uh, we talked to Brett McCann about that. He, he obviously didn't like that. He, he felt that showed no remorse for uh, a crime that Travis Vader has been convicted of, uh, manslaughter. Uh, and, uh, of course, uh, that, that could play a role uh, when he is eligible for parole in seven years. Uh, you know, he is still saying that he's an innocent man, that he didn't do this. One of the things that people were talking about prior to the sentence being handed down was the possibility of him maybe even walking out of court um, today. Tell us about what the defense was asking for. Well, his lawyers were, were requesting a, a sentence of six years minus time served. Now, that would have essentially meant that he could have been released uh, today uh, or tomorrow. So, uh, uh, you know, obviously they didn't get what they were looking for. The Crown was asking for a life sentence, and that is what he got. Okay. CTV's Bill Fortier, thank you so much for this.